morning i forgot to film my intro so this is like the kmart version no makeup just a little filter <laughs> so that i could put the rest of this video together for you guys i have been refraining on posting this because of the last video and the impact that had i figured i can't really stop youtubing forever i've got to get on with my life and so i've put together part two of my life in quarantine i hope you guys enjoy it and make sure you give it a big thumbs up if you do finally been allowed out to train each day because we weren't on any of the flights with positive COVID cases thankfully so i'm going to show you guys what it's like going out and training before we get started with this i just want to put a disclaimer that absolutely none of this is complaining all i am doing is showing you guys what it's like to be in the bubble all the processes that are in place nothing is a complaint i'm extremely grateful to be here and here we go it was pretty cool, they've blocked out this entire car park and they've turned it into little individual stations for each cohort. So I think there's about 20 different gyms, I think. And you have about an hour and a half to train at these gyms before they sanitize it and they pass it on to the next cohort. So this is what it looks like. Pretty lucky, I had this company send me workout equipment. Even if I didn't have this space, I can work out from the hotel room, which is cool. So this is like a doorstop, it goes inside the door and you can put the resistance band and do all your exercises in the hotel room. I've also got this, you can also do my cardio. For me personally, it's not really a problem whether I train at the gym or in the hotel room, but this is a pretty cool setup. They've got exercise bikes, they've got weights. I'm just gonna show you guys. All the individual stations. On the right side, you've got more cardio based stuff. They alternate usually between the two. On the left hand side, you've got more of the weights. So it's pretty good. My favorite for these ones. I'm just doing mainly cardio with a mixture of abs and legs. I'm not really in a mood to train. <laughs> Do you want to get a six pack in like two days? That is the way. Once your allocated time slots are finished, you have someone that escorts you out and you have to wear your masks. They're pretty on to it with making sure that everything's COVID safe and no one really like crosses paths with each other, everything's sanitized. You don't really interact with any other players other than your cohort. I think they're just trying to minimize every single risk possible, especially now because someone's been tested with the UK strain of the virus. They've really got to keep on to it. We get tested every single day, so the risk of transmission is like super low. I'm just glad that no one on my flight got tested positive and Bernard's still able to train. The hard quarantine for two weeks is not really ideal coming up to a grand slam. We're also in a pandemic, so I think that's probably a little bit more important. I only let you use one of the bathrooms because they clean it after every person and you can only use one tub. They've got someone with PPE that waits there and they make sure that only one person goes into the toilet at a time and then they clean the one cubicle after every use and everything that you use is crazy. It is so regulated. This isn't a complaint by the way. If you want to go to the toilet, you have to get escorted there. You have to stay in your designated area for your allocated time slots. You've got the court time, which is two hours a day. You've got training and then you've got food. In total, it's about five hours and you can't have these times shortened. You can't have them longer. It's just how it is. And then someone escorts you back to the car, back to your hotel. And yeah, that's pretty much how it is. I probably won't go with Bernard to the training site tomorrow because it is 41 degrees and just insanely hot here at the moment. So I'm gonna stay in the luxury of my hotel, which has air con. But I was just on the court training now, and then we're going to nutrition for our food, and then that's us done for the day. We don't really do much else, we still game. So after Bernard trains, we'll come home, have a shower. I'll do what I need for my social media, my OnlyFans, and then probably just game. Last night I stayed up until I think 1 a.m. or something, trying to build my deck on Yu-Gi-Oh. Completely addicted to it. This is our little hut. We scan a QR code to order our food and they've got designated people that bring you the food. That is where they go pick it up from and they bring it up to us. Sushi, vegetarian. Mm. Life hack, guys. <laughs> <laughs> We're back at the hotel. I'm a little bit summer. I don't know if you guys can see, but it's been really hot. I hope that gave you guys a little bit of insight about what it's like being in the bubble. I hope none of you took any of this is complaining because it absolutely isn't if you enjoyed it please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe